Imagine our biggest planet acting like a drunk bowling ball, charging through the inner solar system, nearly hitting Mars, then slamming the brakes and reversing. That's the Grand Tack Hypothesis. The Grand Tack Hypothesis is a model for the early solar system, where Jupiter first migrated inward from its initial formation point, around 3.5 AU, to about 1.5 AU before reversing course and migrating outward to its current orbit. It's how our solar system's quiet giant nearly wrecked the whole neighborhood. The old story of a peaceful early solar system just didn't add up. Scientists had questions. Why is Mars so small? Why is the asteroid belt a messy mix of icy and dry rocks? And where are the super-Earths we see in other star systems? So, what if Jupiter didn't stay put? The Grand Tack Theory says Jupiter formed and drifted way inward to where Mars is today. Then Saturn caught up. They locked into a special 2-3 orbital rhythm, and together they boomeranged back out. Why would Jupiter move? It was dragged by the massive gas disk surrounding the young sun. This migration was a one-way ticket toward a fiery end. But then came Saturn. When it locked into that 2-3 rhythm with Jupiter, their combined gravity pushed against the gas, reversing the pull and flinging them both back out. Jupiter's inward journey was a wrecking ball. It scattered the building blocks of planets and threw away most of the material that should have formed Mars, which explains its tiny size. The asteroid belt became a jumble of icy and rocky bodies thrown together. And any super-Earths forming close to the Sun? They were either pushed into it or ejected from the solar system entirely. The turning point was that 2-3 resonance with Saturn. It essentially cleared a path in the gas disk, which pushed both giants outward. After a few million years, the gas disappeared, leaving Jupiter and Saturn parked where they are today. The inner solar system was a wreck, but it was now a clean slate. With Jupiter gone, the leftovers could finally form planets. Earth and Venus grew large, but Mars stayed small with its pantry cleaned out. The asteroid belt was left as the sparse, mixed-up junk drawer we see today. And with no super-Earths hogging the space, our rocky planets had room to grow, possibly giving life a fighting chance. So the Grand Tack turns Jupiter from a distant guardian into a cosmic vandal who nearly wrecked the house, only to be saved by Saturn's timely arrival. This chaos happened in the first few million years of the solar system. The next time you see Jupiter, remember its wild journey bulldozed the original plan, creating the solar system we know, and the one that allowed for us. If this twisted your brain like a pretzel, smash subscribe. More space madness coming at you every week.